بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so the next thing we'll talk about uh, global configuration mode which is the next next mode after the user mode like we have discussed the user mode where we can do the basic show commands uh, basic verifications and then we can go to the next mode called privilege mode by typing in enable command so when you type enable you go to the next mode called privilege mode where we can do all the show commands like we can verify all the show commands we can use copy as well as your rs commands um, these commands copy and rs commands to save the configs or to erase the configurations but the difference is we cannot make any changes here so in these two modes whatever we discussed we cannot make any changes like let's say you want to assign the ip address of the on the interface or you want to change the host name or you want to change the passwords basically we cannot do that so if you want to make any changes you have to go to the next mode and that mode we call it as a global configuration mode so this global configuration mode is the main mode from where we make the changes uh, nothing but whatever we set or whatever the changes we make here basically that will be applied to the device and it is just like one time you do so allows you to make the changes which are set once for the entire router or the switch and probably these commands we call them as uh, global commands global commands or global configuration mode you have to go to make the changes just like one change let's say you want to change the host name name of the router basically we can we can do it from the global configuration mode and from the global configuration mode only we we go to the other modes like let's say you want to make any changes to the interface like you want to assign the ip address or you want to shut down the interface or you want to change encapsulation you can see there are commands from the global configuration mode again we go to the interface mode and that too again on specific interface which interface and from there we go to the router mode so in the router mode we'll make a routing changes and if you want to do any routing and then if you want to assign any passwords to the line passwords which we'll see next uh, we go from the global configuration mode so so basically all the options related to interface routing or line or any other we go from the global configuration mode so from the global configuration mode like i said we go to the interface mode or to the vlan interface vlan mode or console mode vty mode vty mode is like these are for passwords we'll see them and if you want to come back again you have to use either exit command or you have to say control z so these are the two keys you can use to come back or even you can use end command uh, these are the options to come back again to the previous modes so like we have seen enable command once you type enable you go to the privilege mode and from the privilege mode we need to give a command called configure terminal so the command to enter into the global configuration mode from the privilege mode again you you cannot go directly from here to here you have to come to the pri your privilege mode and then from there we type in the configure terminal or config t shortcut to take you to the next mode and how we can see we are in the global configuration mode if you see something like config hash so this indicates that we are inside the global configuration mode now once we are inside the global configuration mode we can make the changes like the first thing we'll, we'll try to do here is changing the host names now changing the host names is uh, generally important because uh, by default the name of the router will be router and the name of the switch will be switch so let's say you got three switches here so the name of this switch is switch switch and switch so when you get into the command line of the switch now it will be difficult to figure out in which which switch you are exactly so the default names are not really good because it will be difficult to identify on which device you are trying to access so that is the reason what we'll do is the first thing we'll try to configure a router or a switch uh, is the host name so as i said the default name will be either a router or switch which makes difficult for to identify while we are configuring the multiple devices so by changing the host names to some meaningful names like here i'm i'm using switch switch on the floor 1 switch on the floor 2 switch on the floor 3 uh, which makes easy for me to identify the devices especially the routers and switches for the network administrator 
Okay, so this is something we need to do. So to do that, again, you should be in the global configuration mode. And how to go into the global configuration mode? Again, you should be, you should first go to the privilege mode and then type in the command called configure terminal. So once you type in the command configure terminal, you, you will be inside the global configuration mode. This is how it looks. And there's a command called host name. And then you have to type in whatever the name you want to type in. Like here, I want to say, the name of this switch, let's say I'm, I'm on this command line via console connection, then you see the name changes. The default host name will be displayed here. So this is your default host name. Now the default host name changes to a switch uh, floor one name. Okay, so I got my topology here. So in this topology, we got some computer connections. So again, this is a manageable switch, which I'm using 2960 uh, switch. So I'm opening up the console connection here on the packet tracer again. So the first mode, what you'll see is the uh, user mode. And we have to type in the enable command to, to take you to the next mode called privilege mode. And from here, I cannot use the host name. Like I discussed here, host name, we can say, we can change the host name from here. It's not possible. Okay, so which means if you want to make change the host names, we can use configure terminal command or config T. Now, once we are inside this uh, global configuration mode, we can say host name. Let's say I want to change the host name as a switch one. Um, let's say floor one. So something like that. So whatever the name you want, you can use. Like it will change. Or simply I can use switch one. In, in my labs, basically I'll be using switch one, switch two, switch three, like that. To make it easier, in the production scenarios, you will find uh, basically the name of the devices will be numbered with the specific location. Let's say. Uh, this is in a location Hyderabad and specific uh, site, maybe maybe ABC site, let's say. So the numbering will vary. So based on th that makes you to easily identify the devices, especially when you have multiple devices in your in your network. 